So in Taoist cultivation, they like to use secret code words for things so that it's not clear to the uninitiated what they're talking about. And that applies to yin and yang energy. They use some term which doesn't really mean what you think it might mean, and then successive generations of students add a little bit more of what they think it means. So in the end you get layers upon layers of meaningless bullshit. Yang and yin, when applied to energy, means yang is giving off energy and yin is absorbing energy. So that's one correct way to think about it. But the real reason they use the terms yin and yang energy is because the earth is said to be yin and the sky is said to be yang. So when energy is flowing upwards, theoretically from the earth, it's said to be yin. And when energy is flowing downwards in your body, which is said to be from the sky, or it could be from the sky, that's said to be yang. But there really is no difference. The only difference is the direction of movement in your body. Uh, there's no such thing as yin energy as something which is separate and different than yang energy. It's all the same energy. So the yin and yang concept of energy is very misleading and it's meaningless. It's bullshit. Um, the real thing about energy that you can tell is that it has a frequency of vibration. So you can have high frequency energy or low frequency or middle frequency energy. It's a whole spectrum. And low frequency energy is what we call sick energy. And sick energy is, uh, doesn't flow as easily, tends to stick to things, um, so uh, doesn't get through blockages very well. Higher frequency energy is better for blasting through blockages, but it takes a long time to cultivate high frequency energy. Most people start out with fairly low frequency. So forget yin and yang energy, it's really a joke. There's only different frequencies of energy, and of course different levels of power.